Welcome to Electron Line. In this example, all the resistors in the circuit have the exact same value. What we want to do here is, is start on the very far end of the, of the circuit. So here's the terminals A and B, typically connected to some source. And starting at the very end, notice that this resistor, this resistor, and this resistor are all in series. The reason why we can say so is that this node is shared by these two resistors exclusively. That means that this resistor is in parallel with this resistor. This is a node that's shared exclusively by those two resistors and by no others. So these two are in series. That means all three then must be in series. And then we can combine those three resistors into a single resistor. The total resistance of a series circuit is simply R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus however many there are. In this case, there's only three. So we add those three together. Therefore, the equivalent resistance of this branch right here must be equal to 3R, R plus R plus R. We can then redraw the circuit. The circuit now looks as follows. We have A and B. We have a resistor coming out of here. We have these two resistors. And then we have this resistor. And those three then get turned into a single resistor. The value of that one now is 3R. These are still R. R, R, and R. Next, we can look at these two resistors. Notice that they share a common node exclusively, not shared by any other resistors. Those two are in parallel. We can add them together. This branch now becomes 2R, and the circuit can now be drawn as follows. We have A and B. We still have this resistor. We still have this resistor. Now, this becomes a 2-ohm resistor. And this here is a, not 2 ohm, but a 2R resistor. And this is a 3R resistor. 2R, 3R, R, and R. Remember that R is some value in ohms. We don't know what that value is. Now we have those two resistors, and they are in parallel. The reason why we know they're in parallel is because they share this node, and they share this node. They share a node on each side of the resistor, on each end of the resistor. Therefore, those are in parallel. And in parallel, we can say that our total equals the product over the sum, R1, R2, R1, R2, whatever R1 and R2 is. In this case, this is equal to 2R times 3R divided by 2R plus 3R, which is 6R squared divided by 5R. This cancels out this. This becomes 6 over 5R. That is the equivalent resistance of those two in parallel. Remember that when you have two resistors in parallel or two or more resistors in parallel, that the equivalent resistance is always smaller than the smallest of the resistors there. Since 6 fifth is smaller than 2, therefore that probably at least is plausibly the correct answer. We can now redraw the circuit. This is A and B. So we have our R resistor. This now becomes 6 fifths R, and this becomes R. So R, 6 fifths R, and R. And now we can see that those three resistors are in series. Here they share a common node exclusively. Here those two share a common node exclusively. We can see that this is a series circuit. This can now be drawn as a circuit with a single equivalent resistor, A and B, single resistor. Simply adding these up together, R plus R plus 6 fifth R, that's equal to 3 and 1 fifth R, is the total or equivalent resistance of those three resistors. And that's how that's done.